Okay, welcome to my Network Plus in 10006 uh, study material. This is chapter 13, Network Troubleshooting. In this chapter, we are looking at things like troubleshooting uh, concept basics. We're going to be looking at how to troubleshoot the physical, the data link, the network layer, so the, the bottom three layers. And we're going to talk about how to troubleshoot wireless. So, first thing we have to realize is in troubleshooting, there is a structured uh, model. There is a hierarchy. There is a, a nice flow to troubleshooting. We're going to look at what are some of the common physical layer troubleshooting issues that people will encounter. Same thing with layer two, same thing with layer three. And then we're going to talk about some characteristics for Wi Fi. Okay, so troubleshooting network issues is one of the major responsibilities of any network technician, analyst, administrator, all of the above, pretty much anyone that deals with networking, you need to at least understand how to do your troubleshooting. Normally, there's a small uh, hierarchy or a small model. Normally, problems reported, you diagnose the issue, then resolution, including, and also could be including things such as training and documentation depending on your organization. So, so steps to diagnosing a problem once it's been reported. Collect information. Ask questions, see what's going on. You're going to be collecting information from different stakeholders to see where the problem could uh, stem from. Step two, we're going to examine the collected information. So once we've asked a bunch of questions, once we start figuring out what it can and can't be, we can start eliminating potential causes. Then uh, once we've eliminated a few of the potential causes, we can start hypothesizing maybe an underlying cause of the concern. Lastly, we verify, and that should help to diagnose the problem. So here's more of a structure. Define the problem, hypothesize, test, loop if necessary, create an action plan, make sure you have the appropriate permissions to do what you need to do, do to fix the issue, implement action plan. Part of the creation might also be to create a fallback plan just in case. That way if implementation does occur and it's a disaster, you know how to recover. So five is implement, Six is verify problem resolution with the user or with the stakeholders. And then last, create a post-mortem report. Uh, big thing here is document at the very end. Documentation could include your notes, could be include stakeholders contacted, questions asked. You want to document everything just that way. If it happens again, you can always go back to those notes. All right, let's look at physical layer troubleshooting. It could be simple as bad cable, connector going out. Maybe the cable was put into the wrong area or when it was ran, it was ran really close to other uh, high voltage cables or happened to be that the cables were ran and then they happened to put in a, a generator where the cable used to be or where the cable was. So they moved the cable but they laid it on top of the generator. Sadly, that's very common. Very, very common. Also, the distance. That's always a concern as well. Here is a great example. A straight through cable. Is, is that the appropriate cable type from a computer to a switch? What about between two switches? What about between a switch and a router? So you want to be able to make sure that you understand what cables should be going to where. If it's like devices, you should be using a crossover, switch to switch, router to router, router to PC, PC to PC. All of those are crossovers. Moving on is our data link. This could be as simple as uh, VLAN issues or maybe uh, module on the, the device is uh, starting to have a problem. Or maybe the device itself 
uh, it could be looping traffic causing it to slow down. So it starts, uh, the switch or the hub starts running slower, which means the network starts running slower. It could also be a protocol error. With uh, layer two devices, if STP or spanning tree protocol is installed, this could mean STP could be messing up. Or you may have misconfigured the port. You set it for half duplex when it really needed to be full duplex. Here's an example. Maybe different VLANs, maybe different medias, maybe different duplexes and speeds. Other areas dealing with the network layer could be things like uh, path determination, routing protocols. The address scheme could be off. So the uh, IP address scheme might be uh, messed up. Or you have one uh, network range and you're assigning addresses in a different range. Or even services. Maybe services like DNS and DHCP aren't functioning. Those are all possibilities. So with our routing, it could be just as simple as misconfiguration of our routing tables. Because again, our router is going to be processing packets for in, uh, ingress and egress. And so maybe the router is misconfigured. Maybe we're blocking certain things. So there are some more concerns when we're talking about the network layer, because there could be a lot more complexity to this. Common areas could be like incorrect information, like incorrect IPs, incorrect gateways, incorrect DNS, maybe even duplicate uh, or multiple uh, duplicate addresses. Those are all possible uh, scenarios. Examples could be right here, where do we have the appropriate gateway configured? Do we have the appropriate network configured? Are these appropriate addresses on the same network? While the first three octets are in the same group, are the addresses? Is 91, 97, and 94 all part of the same range? And other examples. Moving into our wireless technology. With our wireless, it could be channel. It could be interference. Misconfiguration or misplacement of our access points. That's a very big one. Sometimes you may configure one access point with one SID and another adjoining access point with a different SID when they should be the same, assuming we're doing a converged network. Or maybe uh, we're placing our access points too close together or too far away. You're looking for some overlap, not a whole lot, but some overlap on different channels. Remember, the channels are 1, 6, and 11. So again, those are some basic fundamentals for troubleshooting and common issues in those first three layers. Thank you.